Hello everyone, this is Osamu Akabayashi from Zen Ideas. Now, Croc Block has uh, this dynamic chart builder for WordPress. And I want to talk about it uh, quickly today. And I think this is really interesting if you like to create something report. Because WordPress essentially creates a database. And I'll give you some example here. I built this volunteer management system mostly using Croc Block widget, a plugin. And this is where our members can post job opportunity and then uh, applicants can apply for those jobs. And then essentially it creates all database, right? So it's basically just a table. So the members are posting uh, volunteer opportunities. And then here, so this is uh, CPT and also uh, job applicants or volunteer applicants. So they are um, applying for those jobs. So uh, I use CCT for this. So essentially that's the table. Yeah, for this demo, I installed uh, this called um, uh, SQL Buddy. Uh, this is a plugin. And then I think it goes to uh, settings. No, it's under tool and here is skill buddy. So you can see all the tables here, right? And I give you some example and then my CCT. Um, okay, so it's here. Jet CCT volunteer job applicants. So I'm gonna just click that. So these are just uh, tables, right? So you see all the columns here. And here, just to go back. Yeah, as you see, we have uh, over 2,000 applications, right? So all the data is uh, this dynamic chart builder. So you can create all the visual uh, report. And I'll show you an um, example here. So here, it's just um, I was playing with it. So if you want to show your client some report, so this is a volunteer report. So types of volunteer opportunities. So uh, we see those accounting and the admin job and art and craft. So these are dynamic, right? So, so once you set up, you don't have to, you know, setting up again. So it generates automatically. And here too, uh, the number of applicants per opportunity. So you see, so those are job opportunity and you see how many people uh, applied for those jobs. And here's just total number 111 uh, application uh, they uh, received. So something like that, um, I found it's really <laughs> uh, cool. Uh, and it's not really difficult to uh, pull this data and then make, um, make chart like this. Uh, this can be basic, but uh, I would like to share with you. Let's, uh, let's start. First, you need to have a jet engine. And then right here, you see dynamic chart builder. So you have to enable this option or this module. So the first one, I'd like to show you this uh, types of volunteer opportunities here. Uh, right here, so volunteer jobs. And then I have types of volunteering here. So we have those uh, categories or taxonomy. Uh, for volunteer uh, jobs. And here we see the count, right? So uh, members are posting job and they're categorizing it. Now these one easily, I can create a chart, right? So next step is uh, go to uh, query builder right here. Now, I already created this types of volunteer opportunities. I'll show you uh, what's inside here. So I named types of volunteer opportunities and then a query type. That's a terms query, right? Pick that. And then just here, go to general uh, taxonomy. So yeah, I'm gonna just, uh, so right here, so you can pick in my case, types of volunteering, right? So I'll just pick that. And then, so I'm gonna just hide empty. Um, and then, so I think that's all. Uh, I'm gonna just turn this on. Uh, you can see the preview here. 
So those are uh, term ID. So accounting and financing. So I got uh, uh, 17. And the next one, admin office is 38. Uh, so I'm going to just hit update here. So if you go back to uh, types of volunteering, so you see like 17 and then um, 38 here, okay? So that's the first step uh, you need to do. So set that query builder. And the next one is go to chart builder. So here, so I already created types of volunteering. So I'll take you through here. So name, I'm going to just type um, types of volunteering and data query. So it's going to be types of volunteer opportunities that I just created, right? And then uh, chart type, I'm going to use bar chart and columns. So let's create, uh, I'm going to say, um, yeah, types. And data source, it's going to be, it's going to be term. So term name, and then pick another column. I'm going to put the numbers and data source. Uh, it's going to be, and then select the post count. And then hit the preview. All right, so we can adjust that, go to chart style. And then uh, the width, uh, maybe I can just uh, extend to maybe 1200. And then maybe a height is gonna be uh, increased a little bit more. And then reload the preview. All right, so that looks, um, looks fine. All right, so now let's go to uh, Elementor. So this is the page. So this is just the heading title widget. And I'm going to look for a uh, chart. So I think this dynamic chart you want to pick. So I'm going to just grab, drag and drop here. And then uh, maybe I should probably refresh this page. All right, so this chart, so I'm going to select chart, uh, which one is, so this one. And then types of volunteering. So that's the one I pick. And then here we go. Oh, looks like uh, the width hasn't been adjusted. Maybe did I hit the update? So let's go back here. Maybe update chart here. And then let's uh, refresh this page. And that's okay. Okay, select this again. Types of volunteer. All right, so here we go. And so these are really dynamic here. You see that when you hover your mouse, uh, it just uh, show the numbers. So this is how you can create dynamic chart with Jet Engine based on CPT taxonomy. So let's move on. So next one is I'd like to show you uh, the number of applic applicants per opportunity uh, this month. So uh, this is, you know, let's say um, I like to report to my client monthly and here are kind of job opportunity for the month. And then uh, here are the number of uh, app application. So this is similar to the previous uh, tutorial, but uh, so I'm gonna be using um, uh, SQL table instead of uh, post and terms, right? So uh, uh, let me show you, show that to you. So first you have to uh, go to Jet Engine and then Query Builder again. So here I've already created the number of job application this month. So let's uh, take a quick look here. So I just put the title uh, of the query and here, so I know that um, I'm using this volunteer app applicant, so volunteer applications. Uh, this is a CCT, uh, custom content type. Now you don't want to choose custom content type here uh, when you create a chart. Okay, so make sure you use uh, SQL query, all right? And then here, so that uh, uh, from table, so I'm gonna pick this table. So um, how, how can I find that out? Uh, because I showed up to you this SQL buddy uh, that I use for plugging here. And then here, here, let's go to back, uh, back, back dashboard here. So there are uh, the number of table here 
and then right here so i got um uh, jet cct volunteer job applicants so now i got uh, over 2000 uh, records and then click that so this is a table here right so i got um, you know status and id uh, created date uh, so forth here is the you know volunteer job title okay and then let's go back to credit builder so again so this is the table uh, you can find that out and then so i'm going to just uh, skip that explain come back to you later now here um, because i want to group uh, the column here so you need to enable this and then group by job title right in this case and then again so if you want to order by you know like different alphabetically but I'm going to skip that um, for this tutorial and here now include columns so you want to include a volunteer position title and also a created date which is right here so cct underscore created okay so those two columns and then include the calculated columns uh, again so you have to turn this on and here so you just add a new and then the column is the volunteer position title so the function is count now next one is let's scroll up now so this is where so uh, query uh, clauses so this one so i like to pull the number only for this month right so the column i want to use is cct created and the compare uh, like so here let's go look at this table uh so this is the way the created so you see uh this is back in march um all right so let's uh what's the oldest here or latest so we want to use uh july uh, number here so uh, i want to just use 2022-07 um, so, so that's you know basically pulling the number uh only for july right so that's why i'm use that using this and type is a uh, data stamp and then so let's uh, take a look at the preview here so you see the total um the record is um 111 and then here you see that uh, different job title and for this job title uh, we got the eight application and this is one right so some are so yeah those are nine so you you know you see what's happening so that's how you set um a query here so that's the first step and the next one is uh, go to chart builder and then I have already uh, created a chart here, so I'll take you uh, um, take you inside here. So again, so I just use a monthly job application, just the name of the title of um, of the chart. And here, so data query, so we just created data query, and you just pick this one, right? So the number of job application this month, right? So I'm gonna just uh, fetch data here and then type so i'm going to just use a bar chart uh, once again and then columns so that the, the title so that's a job title i uh, just put the name and here so data source so use a fetched column okay so in the previous tutorial we used this one right but this case in this case use a fetched column and then so select which column uh, which is so this volunteer position title right and then so data uh, types that's okay so default and then another column is the number of applicants okay and then same thing fetched column and then here so we're gonna just use count uh, volunteer position title right and then just uh, hit the update and then uh, here chart style so you can just uh, use a uh, uh, different number so that's a in pixel uh, reload preview so something like that so it's all pulled out number here you see that so those are all dynamic okay so let's hit update so let's go to our report page with elementor and then uh, chart so make sure you pick dynamic chart put this in here and then select 
uh, it's going to be a monthly job application and then should be right here all right now I like to also uh, put the number of the order record here uh, for the month uh, in this case July so let's go to um, query builder back again and then uh, the month and uh, the number of our applicant application this month I think uh, here let's turn this on yeah so we see this uh, 111 uh, application for July so I like to just uh, pull the number out so uh, that should be easy so let's go back to uh, report page and I'm gonna put um, there is a like a count oops counter yeah counter sh uh, yeah let's see if I can use that um, so ending number should be uh, query result count and which one so that's gonna be the number of job application this month okay so some reason this doesn't work I hope this uh, I hope this works but it doesn't hmm okay uh, I'm not sure why so what about uh, just to use uh, regular headings and then title here so I'm going to just use uh, query record let's see so that that shows actually that's okay yeah you can just style that uh, text too uh, if you want to uh, here oh I got some of this up yeah just increase size here and uh, maybe it, uh, add some paddings right. so something like that okay so um yeah so this is just a quick tutorial uh for um how to create a dynamic chart with jet engine so first one was uh, using uh, taxonomy uh, based on the cbt uh, data and the next one is uh, pulling out the cct data so you got to use sql uh, data table for this and I'm hoping that there are more tutorials uh, for this dynamic chart. Yeah, if Croco Blocks or maybe uh, some of you have um, any case study or any example, uh, I'm hoping that the, you can share and put on your YouTube or maybe Croco Block or your community Facebook page. So uh, I hope uh, this helps and I'll see you next time.